Hello rail fans and welcome to French Fry Trains. Today we're going to be building the CPKC ES44AC in their new paint scheme. Now I did already do a locomotive in this paint scheme last year when they had the vote to pick what their locomotives would look like when they unveiled the winner and what this paint scheme would be. But when I built it, I put it on an SD70 Ace and they put it on Jeebo's. So here we are to put it on this ES44 AC in Minecraft. Bridge Fried Trains is a channel for adult rail vans and Minecrafters and is not intended for children under 13 years of age. This is a fan channel for fun. We are not affiliated in any way with Microsoft or Mojang. This is not an official Minecraft product. And as a friendly reminder, I do not take requests at all. Thank you and enjoy the video. So as usual, we'll start off with the rear coupler. So take out a dark oak stair and attach that up on the second layer in the middle. Under it, a sideways dark oak landscape. Then on the next block forward on the bottom middle, Put three black stone brick blocks in the center and an upside down black stone brick stair facing outward on either side of that. On top of it go five wide of black stone brick stairs and then in front of it do a three block tall T shape in the center. We're going to put a torch on either side of this second layer here and then three quartz slabs like this on the outer edge on both sides. In front of this do a five by three of black stone brick block coming out to each side of our tracks here. Then we're going to come back here and we're going to put three quartz top slabs on the center. Then on the second layer, on the outer edge, we need a sideways chain and next to the coupler, open a fence gate. And we're going to go ahead and repeat that on the second layer on this side as well. Then on the top middle, we're going to put a mangrove fence gate and a wither skeleton skull on either side. And then we'll come up in front of here. In front of this on the bottom, we're going to put a sideways fence gate on each rail. And then in front of that, a netherite wheel on each rail. In the middle, a deep slate tile wall. Then two deep slate tile top slabs in the center. Then a wall, two top slabs, and another wall. Then we'll add a netherite wheel here and here. Same thing on this side here. We're going to put a fence gate on the front of these two wheels and also two fence gates in all four of these spaces between the wheels on each side. Then on the side of each netherite wheel, we're going to put a backward facing deep slate tile stair on all six of these. Then between the stairs, we're going to put two deep slate tile top slabs here, two here. Same thing on this side. Then we're going to add one slab on top of all six stairs aligned with the wheels like this. Then we're going to put a wither skeleton skull on all three stairs and one above the back wheel and front wheel. Repeat on this side, so one on all three stairs, then above the back wheel and front wheel. Then on the top middle, we're going to do a line of black stone brick block down the center until you're aligned with these front fence gates. On the side, put a full row of fence gates here repeat on this side a full row here. Then we'll go up here and crouch and we're going to put a sideways lightning rod here and here. Repeat on the other side. Next we'll do the fuel tank so go in front of this on bottom and we're going to go three wide on the bottom middle with black stone brick blocks and extend that forward three wide in the middle. And that will be a total of 16 blocks long. One six. Then on the side, we'll put 16 upside down black stone brick stairs facing outward. And repeat on this side, and a full row of upside down stairs on this side as well. Then on the second layer of this fuel tank, start back here and go three wide on the top middle with black stone brick block. And extend that forward to the front of the fuel tank, so another three by 16 in the center. Then on this side only, do a full row here and on this side put two blocks at the back and three blocks on the front like this. 
Then in front of this on bottom, put a fence gate on each rail. In front of that, another right wheel on each rail. In the middle, a deep slate tile wall. Then two deep slate tile top slabs. In the middle, another wall, two top slabs, and a wall. Then add another right wheel here and here. And same thing on this side. Then get two fence gates between each set of wheels. One on each of these on the front. And two here, and two here. Then again, on all six netherite wheels, we're going to put a backward facing deep slate tile stair. Then go to deep slate tile slabs and put two top slabs here, two here. Then one slab on top of all three stairs. Repeat on this side. So two top slabs here, two here, and one on top of all three of these stairs. Then we're going to add a wither skeleton skull on all three stairs and then one above the front wheel and back wheel. Repeat on this side here. Then on the top middle, we're gonna do a line of black stone brick block down the center until you're aligned with these front fence gates. Then we're gonna put one block in this corner with a bell on it. In front of that, do a full line of fence gates here. And on this side, do a full line of fence gates over here. And then we're gonna go up on top of this here and crouch. And we're going to put a sideways lightning rod here and here. And same thing on this side here. Then right in front of this on the bottom, we are going to do a five by three of blackstone brick block coming out to each side of the tracks. So five wide and three tall. In front of that, do a three block tall T shape in the middle put a torch on either side of the second layer. Then on the outer edge, three quartz slabs here, three on this side. In front of it, three black stone brick stairs going forward on the bottom middle, and an upside down stair going outward to either side. On the next layer, we do a block in the middle, and two upside down stairs going forward on either side. Then three quartz top slabs on the top middle. I'm going to take a dark oak stair, turn around and stack it up to this middle second block for the front coupler under a sideways dark oak fence gate. On the second layer we need a sideways chain on the outer edge, open a fence gate next to the coupler, and repeat on this side. Then on the top middle we're going to put a mangrove fence gate and then a wither skeleton skull on either side, just like that. Now we're going to come over on this side of the fuel tank on the fourth block in Put a skeleton skull, mangrove sign, and a mangrove button behind it. Then come back here and add one button here. Then on this side on the back, put one button right here. And then up here, we're going to do a skeleton skull, mangrove sign, mangrove button. Then right here, we're going to do a line of five sideways anvils. Then at the back, five. Put a fence gate between them. Then we're going to move up on our third layer on top and just start at one end. And we're going to go three wide on the top middle with our polished blackstone brick blocks. And we're going to bring that all the way across the top, three wide in the middle. And right to the other end. Then on this top outer edge, just start in one corner and we're going to do a full line of smooth quartz top slabs going end to end across here. And of course repeat on this side. Do a full line of smooth quartz top slabs end to end across this side as well. And now the underframe is done and we'll move back up to work on the front end. So we're going to go on top of the front on the third block in and do five wide of red concrete. Then one here, a sideways mangrove stair, quartz block, two red concrete. One on the top middle with an outward facing mangrove stair on either side of that. Then we're going to put one warp button in that corner. Right here, put a column of two red concrete on either side and a forward facing mangrove stair on top of each. Put three red concrete across the middle between the stairs. Then on this side on bottom, do two red shulker boxes, concrete. Two shulker boxes, concrete. 
two shulker boxes concrete. Then start up here and do red concrete until it's over this back shulker box here. Then one red concrete on the front, three quartz blocks, a mangrove door here, and a backwards door behind it. Right here, three black stained glass panes. Across this, we're gonna do two black glass blocks, red concrete, two glass blocks. Put a white stained glass pane on either side of this windshield. Then on this side on bottom, we're gonna do two red concrete, decorated pot, two concrete, then five red concrete. Then one on each end, three quartz blocks in the middle, a red concrete here, three stained glass panes black here. On top, put five outward facing mangrove stairs. Then repeat on this side and do five outward facing mangrove stairs right here as well. Then fill the middle of the cab roof between the stairs, all with red concrete like this. Now we're gonna go right behind the cab, one block in from the outer edge, start here, and do a line of eight red concrete here. And then make that four blocks tall, so it's an eight by four. And we'll repeat on this side, one block in from the outer edge, start here, do eight red concrete, and make that four blocks tall as well. Then down in this corner, we're gonna do six red concrete and make that three blocks tall. Then we're gonna put two red stained glass panes in this corner on bottom. On the top middle, do six red concrete, then two bedrock blocks. Put two iron bars on either side of the bedrock. Then on this side, starting at the front, do a single red concrete, a chiseled bookshelf, a red concrete with a mangrove sign, two chiseled bookshelves and a red concrete. On this side, put a red concrete here and here, and three chiseled bookshelves and another red concrete right here. Then we'll move down to the back end. We're gonna go on the third block in right here, do three black concrete here, make it two tall. Then one here and here, a quartz block in the middle. Then one here and here, and a black stone brick stair here. Go three wide of black concrete up here, and on top of the stair, we're gonna go five wide of black concrete, so it sticks out on each side. Then we're gonna go in front of this on the bottom middle, start here, do eight bedrock blocks coming forward, and make it three blocks tall. Then right here, do a column of three deep slate tile walls, skip one, two columns, skip one and one, skip one and one. Put a black shulker box in all three gaps, then iron bars, then black concrete. On top of where these deep slate tile walls are, it's gonna be hard to see, but we're gonna do two rows of black concrete coming forward to the front of the section on top. Then on top of the back right here, add five more black concrete coming forward, sticking out on the side. On this side, slightly different, we're gonna come down here and do this L shape of black shulker boxes in the corner. Then a concrete here and close the jungle trap door two black concrete above it. Three deep slate tile walls here, skip one, two columns of three, then skip one and one. Shulker box here and here, then iron bars, then a black concrete in each top gap. Then again, on top of where the walls are, one block in, we're gonna do two rows of black concrete coming forward on top to the front of this section. And finally, sticking out on the back here, do five more black concrete coming forward here. Then under where it's sticking out on the back here, we're gonna put five upside down deep slate tile stairs facing outward here. And we're gonna repeat that on this side and do five upside down stairs right here. Then actually up here, I realized I messed up where the pattern is because there's the yellow diagonal stripe. So we're gonna change these two right here to yellow concrete and then these two up here to yellow. Then we need to repeat that here. So change these two to yellow concrete, and then these two up here. In the middle of the yellow concrete on top, we're gonna put two deep slate tile slabs with two iron trap doors on top. Put two bamboo slabs on either side like this. Behind this, we're gonna go three wide of black stone brick slabs here. Then do a line of slabs down the top middle to the back. Put one on either side of the back, then go to deep slate tile slabs and put a row here, 
going to row five here. Then up here, we need to go three wide of mangrove slabs here. And we actually need to change this block to red concrete. And same thing on this side, change this one to red concrete as well. Then right here, we're going to put two deep slate tile slabs here. Then here, a black stone brick stair, two bamboo stairs, and a mangrove stair. And repeat that pattern on this side. So two deep slate tile slabs here, black stone brick stair here, two bamboo stairs, and a mangrove stair. Then in front of this on bottom, one block in from the outer edge of black concrete, and then two yellow concrete on each side. Then we're going to go ahead and add a red concrete on each of these top corners like this. In front of this on either side, we're going to do two yellow concrete here and here, then one here and here. And actually this yellow pattern goes on this vent, so we're going to change this wall to an end stone wall, just so the pattern looks right. And repeat here, change this one wall here to an end stone wall, just so that stripe keeps going. Then in front of this right here, one block from the outer edge, we're just going to fill this whole side in, four blocks tall, with red concrete like this. And repeat on this side, and fill this whole side in, one block from the outer edge, four tall, all with our red concrete. Then we'll fill this middle gap all with red concrete. At the back here, we're gonna make a three by three square of it, put a decorated pot in the middle. Then up here, three mangrove stairs facing this way. Back here, a three by three of mangrove slabs. Two on either side, two rows of three here. And here, put a mangrove fence gate and open one in front of it. Next, we're gonna move up to our front end. On this front porch down here, do a T-shape of black carpet here. Then we'll put a red carpet here and here, a T-shape on the nose. Up here, three red carpet, two rows of three mangrove trapdoors, three mangrove buttons, three trapdoors. Behind this, we're just gonna fill this whole top three wide with red carpet until it is over these iron bars. We'll also go around this exhaust with red carpet up here. And then out here on the back, put a row of black carpet across this. Same thing on this side, a row of black carpet across here. Then we'll go up behind the cab on this side, put a row of black carpet across here, one here, and then cover this whole walkway to the back in black carpet. And go around this corner. Then do a T-shape on the back porch, come around this corner, and go all the way back up the walkway on this side with our black carpet. We'll also cover the top of this box in black carpet. Then we'll start working on the logos. So we're gonna take out some yellow concrete on the side here. And we're gonna come up under these slabs on back right here and change this two by two here to yellow concrete. Under it, we're gonna put a birch sign here with capital C, capital P. Another one next to it with capital K and C. Hit both of those with red dye and then a glowing sack H. Then we'll do the other side. So come over here. On this side, we're gonna knock out a two by two for yellow concrete again. And on this side, it's gonna be right here. So change this two by two to yellow. And then again, under it, we're gonna put a birch side with capital CP and capital KC, and hit both of those with red dye and a glowing sack each. Now we'll do our railing, so come up here, do a column of four birch fences here. Here we're gonna go up three, over one, up two here. Repeat on this side. So here, up four. Here, up three, over one, up two, right here. Then we're gonna put two mangrove fences here, two here, and a chain across the middle gap. Then we're gonna go to our rear end. Back here, we'll go back to birch fences. Here we'll come up four. Here we'll go up three, over one, up two. Repeat on this side, so up four here. Here up three, over one, up two. Then we're gonna put two dark oak fences here and here, and a chain across the gap. Then we'll take our dark oak fences out again, 
and we're going to attach it up on top right here. And we're just going to bring it forward all the way up this walkway until you're right here, then switch to mangrove. Bring the mangrove fences forward. Here we're going to come up one, forward one, up one again, and forward three more. So it looks like this, and the fence switches to mangrove right where that yellow concrete is. And we repeat that on this side. So take dark oak fence and bring it forward to this frontmost black concrete block and align with this yellow concrete. Switch to mangrove fence and start bringing that forward. And then we're going to put two on top of the end. And here come up two more and then forward six right here until it's right behind the cab here. Just like that. Now we need to make some banners here. So we're gonna go into a loom with a red banner and white dye. We're gonna put a vertical on the left, horizontal on top and bottom. New banner, vertical on the left, top half white. New banner, vertical on the left, and then both diagonals so it makes this K shape. Then put a red border around all three of these. And then we'll come and place these. So right next to this yellow concrete here, use our banners to put CPKC. Just like that. And of course, repeat for our other side. Use the banners right here to put CPKC. Then we're gonna go back into a loom, this time with a yellow banner and white dye. And we're gonna put a horizontal on the top, vertical on the left, and bottom half white. Then a new banner, bottom half white, horizontal on top, this time vertical on the right. Then we'll put a yellow border around each of these. And this will just add some detailing to the logo. So we're gonna put these facing each other on this yellow concrete like this and repeat on this side as well. Then we'll do our detailing, so we're gonna come up front on either of these fences, put a glow item frame with a frog light. Then one on the center of the nose with a frog light as well. Then we're gonna come up here and put a dark oak sign here with our number, which is going to be 9375. Same thing on this side. Hit them both with white dye and a glowing sec each. Then we'll move to the back end and detail that. So right here in the middle, we're gonna put a glow item frame with a frog light. Then right here, a dark oak sign with our number, 9375. Same thing here. Then hit both of these with white dye and a glowing sec each. Then we'll do our interior, so come up here. Go inside the cap. Down in this corner, put an end portal. Then a column of three smooth sandstone here and three here. Go in here, turn around, and put a birch door right here. Then go back behind this, on the bottom, on the side, and put two rows of four smooth sandstone here. Same thing on this side here. Then we're gonna put two in the back middle here, and two stairs to make a staircase going down the middle here. Then an upside down stair here and here. On the right, a lever. Here, a glow item frame with an end crystal. Then right here, we're gonna put a forward facing black stone brick stair here and here for the seats, and two blast furnaces in the back middle to fill that gap. Then we can go back outside here. So there we have it, folks. We finally completed our CPKC ES44AC in their new paint scheme. I hope everyone enjoyed the build here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, to like, comment, and subscribe, and everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there.